Good morning. This is Carlos. I'm Diego. We are the co-founders of Hatsa. We're going to show you a photo here. This is Paul McCartney at the halftime of the Super Bowl 2005. This is the week before YouTube was founded. Do you see people with their smartphones taking videos? Not many, only a few. This is the beginning. We flash forward to today, and this was a week ago. This is Madonna's performance. This is not state. These are people's actual iPhone out there. Do you guys see the difference? We think that there's been a huge cultural change and that YouTube and Facebook are not addressing this problem. Well, Hatsa, we're going to address it, and we want to change the viewing experience forever. So in South America, we don't have American football. We have something much better, football. <laughs> These are three videos of the same moment of the winning goal of a soccer match. The image on the right, if we go to the orange map icon, we click there, and we can see the exact geographical position where that video was taken. We can actually zoom in, go to satellite, and see that the guy had really cool seats. We, we go out, and we see two other videos on the right. These people couldn't make it to the stadium, but of course, we want to see their emotions too. I mean, it's, they're all part of the same thing. And we see them in the bars neighbor, ar around the stadium. So we have three videos, blue, green, and purple. Now we're going to press play, and you guys are going to see the magic happening. We can actually change the main camera, select a different audio. These Uruguayan guys are really great. But let's come back here to California. This is closer to you guys. This is one of my favorite bands. They're playing at Coachella. And I can't make it always to their shows. But I know as a fact today that people are going to be recording. You see the carousel below? All those videos were recording at the same time. So I have so many emotions and different perspectives to enjoy this show. We're going to press play again, and you're going to enjoy this. So we're seeing three different images. We can change the audio, it's perfectly synchronized. We can easily drag and drop a new video. And while it loads, maybe we want to do something social, like tag a friend using Facebook or write a comment. So there's all these emotions to see the show. Now, we want to make it super easy for you guys to use this tool. So as of today, in the Android market and on the App Store, you can download our application. It's free, and we're going to ask you to do two things, record and stop recording. That's it. We will do all the rest, instantly upload, we will uh, upload your video with the GPS position, with the timestamp, and we will rebuild the entire experience. Just to show you how that simple this is, when All Tuition was presenting, we were using our application. So when one of our friends was recording here, the audience, and with Carlos, we were backstage. So you can see all these two things happening at the same time. They were kind of kicking us out there, and the, the other person was presenting. And this was done in a couple of minutes with just a very simple software. Uh, get you matched eight. Now, to end, questions. our site is and live as of today. I want to show you the landing page. Um, we've had 1,500 better users in Chile. They are very, being very quick to identify ways to use this tool, concerts, sports, or private things like your wedding or your high school, uh, high school graduation, or even education. We're super excited to see what you guys are going to come up with. We are fundraising 800K. You can find us here, the guys in the orange shirt, or at South by Southwest, where we fly on Friday. Thank you very much. Hunt videos, gather moments. Awesome. All right. Fantastic. Well done. Uh, and no um, very impressive demo uh, done live. That wasn't canned. No. 100% live. Awesome. Questions or, or, or comments or reactions from our judges? So I noticed that in the experience, the person driving the, in the computer, they were uh, clicking in the different videos to, to switch. Is that, are you expecting the user to do that, or are you expecting the users to come and, and have like a single experience where all these videos? Today, our interface is, uh, allows you to interact, so we're expecting the user to do that. Eventually, we can come up with like the highlight and just press play. Can okay. you uh, 
actually consume the videos in the same sequence, in the same kind of format on the phones as well? We don't have today the capacity to stream those videos on the mobile. Okay. Eventually, once you come up with the experience that you can see there. Right now, you, you can watch your, your video Our video okay. in the mobile. And you get a notification, I mean, that other people record it. So you, you, you go to the site to, to watch it. What's your, what's your plan for uh, user acquisition? Because <clears throat> I think um, if you want everyone to use your app, then you're going to face a critical mass problem of having enough people at the same place recording the same thing in order to get these multiple views. Um, certainly, fighting to be like the most powerful video is difficult. So we're going to start by partnering with event promoters and venues. So this is kind of like a post-service experience. So you buy the ticket, you have the chance to record, and then you have the re-experience all the times again. Okay. We will start with massive events. So I mean, there's a lot of people. So if, for example, you go to a concert of 20,000 people, but still if you, got, you get 10, 50 videos, it's a really cool experience. Yeah. yeah. So we'll start from there. The, the interesting question is whether if you're trying to scale customer acquisition through that model, whether you don't need to solve the live kind of viewing component, even if it's slightly delayed, because it seems that for every single person that can afford to go to Coachella, there's a lot of other people who can't. And there's one frame of mind, which is we'll wait a few days or what have you and then be able to consume it on the web naturally. But then there's another frame of mind, which is to be able to actually experience that in the same time, because some of these things are so emotionally resonant that part of the value is actually celebrating at the same time and feeling the same rush of emotion. If you could solve that problem, it may actually help you some of that customer acquisition, I think. I agree. And, and with the, uh, I have a question, this is Jason in the front row. Um, and we have a robot cam in the front row, don't we? I wonder if that robot cam works. Yeah, it's looking at you right now. It is? Yeah, well, we don't see it on the screen. It's curious. Um, so um, I saw that they, there were some YouTube videos there as well. How does that work? You guys will store the video or you'll upload it to YouTube? How exactly does that work? Today, we leverage on the YouTube infrastructure because it's, uh, it's cheaper for us. So every video we host it on YouTube, but it's unlisted, and only we know the metadata. Ah, so it's unlisted. What about putting an annotation on the YouTube video to point people back to the Hadza experience and use YouTube as a marketing tool? So if somebody searches for Coachella, or they search for Red Hot Chili Peppers, on the video it says, see you know, 72 different angles at Hadza.com. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. I, I think we can deliver to the habit that people are already uploading to YouTube. And a business model, or just get to scale and then figure it out? Um, right now, we're not quite sure, but we want to start with a freemium idea. And the premium features would be small video editing features, uh, or customizing the whole experience and the application, and we empower it by Hudson. Yeah, and also embedding the player to other websites. Is there a marketing opportunity from one of the venues, like Wood uh, Stadium, Wood Candlestick Park, or you know, Giant Stadium? pay you to build an app for them to you know, sort of act as a marketing tool, or actually have one of the owners of the Warriors on stage here, the basketball team. Would the Warriors yeah, I, be I, interested in doing yeah. marketing to fill those empty seats with a well, tool like this? Yeah, I, I think it would be something where you know, we would either find a way to kind of like promote it around certain ticket purchases where you get a discount of purchase for maybe buying, downloading the app, recording the video, but again, it, it only works to the extent that, you know, a lot of people don't really care after they see the box score what happens. Again, this comes back to you want to share these moments in real time. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that I think you do need to figure out because if it's event driven, at least in these examples, then that is a really important component. Yeah. All right, let's hear it for Hadza. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you.